WCTH Alum Daniel Lissing Filming Holiday Movie with Jessica Laundes. Welcome to my channel Hallmark's Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Louis DTH alum Daniel Lissing is reuniting with his A December Bride co-star Jessica Lowndes for a holiday movie. What does the Harmony from the Heart star say about this new movie? Moreover, when should viewers expect to see this special reunion? Here are the latest details. Jessica Lowndes reunites with Daniel Lissing for a new holiday movie. Recently, on Instagram, Jessica Lowndes revealed that she is starring in a new holiday movie with WCTH alum Daniel Lissing. She wrote, Week one of filming is done. Two more to go. Along with this post was a cornucopia of photos from the movie. Every photo included Jessica and over half included Daniel. Although there was not a lot of information that could be gleaned from most of these photos, there is one that includes Daniel wearing a construction safety helmet. Could he be playing an architect or engineer checking out a building site? Thankfully, Jessica also shared another post with more photos that told more about this story. Firstly, she wrote, Meet my new character Chelsea. Next, after she revealed that she was grateful to be back on set, she also shared my dear friend of nine years is playing my best friend in the movie. Then added, Her husband is directing and we've been manifesting a job together for years. That means actress Farah Aviva is her Jessica's close friend, and she is portraying Chelsea's best pal in this movie. We know that because Farah has been married to actor and director Robin Dunn for the past eight years. However, Jessica did not mention WCTH alum Daniel Lissing in this post, but she tagged the smiling catering Christmas star, as well as Dunn in this social media post. Is new Jessica Lounge starring with WCTH alum in a Christmas movie? Although Jessica Lowndes did not reveal she is filming a Christmas movie with WCTH alum Daniel Lissing, there are a few photos that make that clear. In one photo, Jessica is wearing a vibrant red wool coat. Around her is fake snow and a festive Christmas tree right behind her. But there is no mention of the name of this movie. It seems probable that this is tentatively titled Renovation Romance and listed as filming in Winnipeg, Manitoba. That is because the industry site ACTRA Manitoba lists Robin Dunn directing a movie with that name now. It also makes sense as Daniel is wearing a safety helmet in one of the photos. However, there is no information on what network this new Jessica Lowndes and Daniel Lissing movie is for. But Jessica had signed a deal with Great American Family a couple of years ago. Therefore, it seems likely that this movie will air there. Daniel Lissing reuniting with WCTH star Aaron Krakow for Hallmark's Santa Tell Me. Now it looks like Daniel Lissing may be in two holiday movies in 2024. That is because he filmed one movie early in the year, and this was another reunion movie for Lissing. Early in 2024, Hardy's got a welcome surprise when Hallmark announced that WCTH stars Aaron Krakow and Daniel Lissing reunited for the countdown to Christmas movie Santa Tell Me. Santa Tell Me will be part of Hallmark's annual countdown to Christmas. Information on renovation romance should be shared in the upcoming weeks. WCTH fans, are you looking forward to two Daniel Lissing movies this holiday season? Daniel Lissing pulled his wool coat tighter around his shoulders as he stepped out into the brisk late autumn air of Vancouver. He took a deep breath inhaling the scent of pine and a hint of the ocean breeze that always seemed to linger in this city. It felt good to be back on set, especially for a holiday film, a genre he had grown fond of after his years on When Calls the Heart. This new project, tentatively titled Home for the Holidays, was particularly special. It was not just another Christmas movie. It was a chance to work alongside his old friend, Jessica Lowndes. Jessica, a seasoned actress and singer, had made a name for herself in both film and television. The two had crossed paths a few times in the industry, but this was their first opportunity to work together closely. Daniel was excited. He knew Jessica's talent and professionalism would bring something unique to the film. The film's plot was a classic holiday narrative with a twist. Daniel would play Jack Anderson, a rugged small-town craftsman who had returned to his hometown after years in the big city. 
Jessica would star as Claire Bennett, a big city event planner who, after a series of personal setbacks, finds herself back in her hometown during the holiday season. Sparks fly as their worlds collide, blending nostalgia with a fresh start. Daniel arrived at the film's production office, where Jessica was Daniel. already chatting Jessica with exclaimed, her face lighting up as she saw him. It's so great to see you. You too, Jess, Daniel replied, wrapping her in a friendly hug. I've been looking forward to this. Karen clapped her hands together, a smile spreading across her face. All right, you two, let's get to work. We have a lot to cover today, and I want to make sure you're both comfortable with the script and your characters before we start filming tomorrow. As they gathered around the table, Daniel couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement. He loved the process of developing a character, finding those little nuances that made each role unique. He could already tell that working with Jessica and Karen would be a rewarding experience. The next few days were a whirlwind of rehearsals, costume fittings, and set preparations. Daniel and Jessica spent hours together, diving deep into their characters' backstories and exploring the dynamic that would unfold between Jack and Claire. Jessica, ever the professional, brought an infectious energy to every rehearsal. She and Daniel quickly found a natural rhythm, bouncing ideas off each other and finding ways to infuse their character's relationship with genuine emotion and humor. During a break, they sat in a corner of the set that had been transformed into a cozy coffee shop, complete with twinkling fairy lights and snow-dusted windows. Jessica sipped her hot chocolate, looking thoughtful. You know, I think what makes Jack and Claire's story so compelling is that it's about more than just romance, she said. It's about finding yourself figuring out what really matters. Daniel nodded. Absolutely. Jack left town to chase his dreams, but he lost sight of why he started in the first place. Claire's return forces him to confront that, to remember who he is and what he truly wants. Jessica smiled. And Claire's journey is about letting go of the need to control everything. She's been so focused on her career and what others expect of her that she's forgotten how to enjoy the simple things. They both fell silent for a moment, lost in thought. Daniel realized how much he appreciated these conversations with Jessica. She had a way of seeing deeper into the story, uncovering layers that added richness to their characters and their journey. The director called them back to set, and they quickly fell into character. As they ran through a pivotal scene, where Jack and Claire have their first real argument, only to realize they share more in common than they thought. Daniel felt the chemistry between them ignite. This was going to be something special. Filming was going smoothly, but as with any production, there were unexpected hiccups. One morning, the crew arrived to find that a heavy overnight snowfall had transformed the set into a winter wonderland. Beautiful, but not exactly what they had planned for that day's scenes. Karen decided to embrace the change, reworking the schedule to film a few of the movie's later scenes set closer to Christmas. The new plan called for a series of outdoor shots that required the cast and crew to brave the cold. Daniel and Jessica, bundled up in their winter costumes, stood under a large pine tree decorated with twinkling lights and garlands. The scene involved Jack and Claire sharing a quiet moment, reflecting on how much had changed since they'd last seen each other. As the cameras rolled, Daniel found himself lost in the scene. The snow fell gently around them, and the lights cast a soft glow on Jessica's face. She looked at him with such sincerity that he almost forgot they were acting. It's funny, isn't it? Jessica, as Claire, said softly, how life takes us in circles. We think we're moving forward, but sometimes we just end up right back where we started. Daniel, as Jack nodded, maybe we're not supposed to have all the answers. Maybe it's about finding joy in the journey, in the unexpected detours. There was a pause, a moment of genuine connection, before Jessica reached out and touched his hand, her smile gentle and understanding. And maybe, she said, it's about finding someone to share those detours with. The scene ended, and Karen called, cut. But even as the crew began to move around them, Daniel and Jessica held each other's gaze for a moment longer, caught in the lingering magic of the moment. As filming progressed, Daniel and Jessica grew closer, not just as co-stars, but as friends.
They spent their evenings exploring Vancouver, trying out local restaurants, and sharing stories about their careers and personal lives. Jessica often teased Daniel about his reputation as the king of Hallmark, but it was clear she admired his dedication to his craft. One evening, after a particularly long day of shooting, they found themselves at a cozy little pub near their hotel. The place was nearly empty, the perfect spot to unwind.